NPR hearing from the city of Madison about its interpretation of the president's statement. Amy Reed joins us now to tell us what city leaders want the community to know. First off, the mayor and common council said they don't have much more information than what the president tweeted, but they are staying on top of the situation. Right now, they said they haven't seen an increase in immigration enforcement in the area. Last fall, when we saw ICE raids in our community, Chief Mike Koval said the police has an agreement with ICE that they will call the assistant chief and let them know before they make arrests, but they did not follow that in September. We reached out to police to see if they've heard anything this time, but they haven't gotten back to us yet. City City officials said they remember how traumatizing last fall's raids were and they want people to know, especially those in the immigrant community, they stand with you. As an immigrant myself, um, I um, know that our, our city uh, embraces um, our immigrant communities and that we as a as city government um, also embrace our immigrant communities and, and we're here um, to, to make sure that we do as much as we can to protect our families. Those raids in Wisconsin last year led to 83 people getting arrested. 20 of those were people in Dane County and five were in Rock County. If you or someone you know needs legal assistance during this time, both Central Hispano and Dane County have resources available and we'll link that information over on our website. All right, Amy Reed reporting tonight. Amy, thank you very much. State law